for the listener that don't know about your story, will you mind sharing about like, what was your awakening journey like and hypnotherapy come into play? Hypnotherapy came into play at an early age, but I didn't actually even realize that it had played a role until years later. The first time that I ever had a hypnotherapy experience was with a yoga instructor in a basement in her home. And it was just a very casual class. We did yoga training and she had us lay down on the floor. She took us through a meditation. I didn't even know anything about hypnotherapy or hypnosis or anything. And looking at, back at it now, it was very much a hypnotherapy session with the full body regression and letting go and everything. And she had guided us to meet our higher power. And I had entered it with such an open mind, not having a clue of what we were doing. I was just so open that I had such an amazing experience that day. So when she said to meet your higher power, even though she had said, you know, she'd left it completely open to everybody as to what that was, I of course ran to Jesus and I was running down the clouds and she was saying to run, but I could feel it. And I'd never had this sort of experience before. So I was just so into it. Like it was like, it was really real and happening. I could hear her voice guiding me. I forgot about the other, the rest of the people in the room, forgot that I was even in the room. I was running through the clouds towards my higher power. And I could feel the feeling of getting closer and closer. And I could feel it inside of me, the love. I didn't know it was love at the time. I just knew it was a good feeling. And then when I got there, I remember that in my mind, I was with Jesus and I was standing on a cloud and I didn't see him. He was standing behind me. And I remember looking down at the earth and it was in complete chaos. It was just in complete chaos and disaster. And I had this really strong, it was like interesting because I had conflicting feelings. I was just filled with so much love that I was crying. I didn't stop crying. Like I had, when I came out of this, my jaw and my face was sore because I was smiling so big and I was soaking wet. But in that moment, I had this strong, powerful feeling of love and I could feel that presence right there. But then I was looking down at the earth and I kept feeling this strong feeling of, you have to go back. And I was thinking, I don't want to go back. And I just wanted to stay in this feeling of love so much. And that time I got a very strong message that you have to go back, but you're going to be okay. And in that moment, like in hindsight, I see this now, but in that moment, I didn't. In that moment, I just, it was like just this a magical experience and I couldn't believe how magical it was and it was so cool. At that time in my life, my confidence was so low. I did, wasn't touching spirituality in any way. I just thought it was just like a cool dream, a cool experience thing. But now all these years later, looking back, I'm like, oh my gosh, that was my first hypnotherapy experience that was calling me to this. And I look back now and I'm like, oh my gosh, like I ended up you know, helping people, reaching people in the world. It's like I was instructed I had to come back to do my little part here. But from that, I also got to experience and have that moment of knowing that I was gonna be okay. And I have returned to that moment so many times in my life. Any moment that I have a hard time or I'm doubting myself or I'm going through things that are difficult, I go back to that cloud. And I'm reminded that I'm gonna be okay.